I need a little more weekend in my weekday. Hey everyone, I'm Andy, Operations Business Partner in Design Experience here at Canva. I don't know about you, but I'm in denial. World Pride has come and gone, and after weeks of fun, it's back to work. Now don't get me wrong, Canva is an amazing place to work, but I need some more of the last few weeks to carry through into the rest of the year. To be honest, I always feel like this after a big event, a holiday, or a party. Sure, I have the photos and videos I took during the event, but they're on my phone. And really, I need less screen time, not more. So in this video, I'm going to show you a bunch of ways we can get the content off our phones and into the real world where you can see it daily. And even better, your friends, workmates, or family can see it too. But before I do that, I've got a quick question. Have you subscribed to Canva's channel yet? Every week, we're releasing new videos about all sorts of topics, from how to make websites to creating the ultimate birthday card. Oh look, there's Tammy with photo collages. That's worth watching and would probably work for what we're doing too. The first thing I'm going to make is a photo book. It's the perfect way to bring all those random snaps together and create a cohesive narrative. You know, I've been attending Pride events in Mardi Gras for some years now. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? A retrospective. Starting on the home screen, I'm going to click on templates and then select photo books. This will bring up a whole selection of templates that are ready for your images. Hover over one and it will show you how many pages are included and will preview the page layouts. Perfect for seeing how the theme carries across. Oh, I like this one, stunning. Click on it and you'll be able to see all the pages and choose what size, cover and finish you want. I think I'm gonna go for the smallest, the sort of thing you can carry with you. I'll also go for a soft touch finish so I can write in it. I'm envisioning this might be almost a reflective journal. I know the images are gonna bring back some memories to me and I want to try and capture what I'm thinking and feeling. Okay, the first thing to do is upload all your images. You can do this from the uploads menu over here. Hit upload files and you'll be able to select all the images you want to include. Once they upload, you can simply just drag and drop them into the existing template. They'll replace what's there and well, it's that easy. Double click on the text and you can change it. Adjust fonts in this menu. Color is here. It couldn't be simpler. I'm gonna speed through this so you can see what it looks like. DJ, start the music. Wow, this is looking fierce. To print it, head here. You'll need to select your cover and back cover and you'll need at least 20 inside pages. Hit continue and Canva will do a quick press check to make sure nothing will get cut off and looks the best it can. Head to checkout and you're done. In about a week, it'll be turning up on your doorstep with a happiness guarantee. Now I know I sped through some of that and you might be saying, hey Andy, how did you get so good? Or, I wanna see more, but slower. Well, if you do wanna learn more about photo books, check out the video with my pal Tammy. We saw her earlier. She's a pro photographer and did a video all about how to put a photo book together on your mobile. Okay, what about video? I have tons of that. There's loads of ways to create a video montage in Canva. And of course, it depends on where you'll be sharing or viewing the video. I took most of the videos on my phone in portrait mode. So I'll find a template that suits. An Instagram reel template type will work and I'll look for something that might kickstart my creativity. Here's one I like. I'll be able to pop some text in and use the graphics in my own way. Now I wanna get all of my videos uploaded and in one place so I can focus more on the creative side of things. One by one, I can drag these clips in. Every so often I'll hit play just to check it's coming together. Now what else can I do with my videos? Drag the clips to rearrange them. I can also trim to make the whole thing go smoother or play around with different transitions. Add in text, animate it so it has a bit of movement too. I know I'm whipping through this really fast. If this is something that you're super keen to explore, check out this video by Eddie, one of Canva's videographers. It goes into a lot more detail about how to bring a video together and how to use the editor. Okay, I've done the photo book, the video collage. What else would help me keep the vibes going throughout the year? A calendar, of course. 
Back into the homepage, choose templates. Hit the print products, scroll across until you see wall calendars. Click on this and you'll see a whole range of the templates ready for your pictures. Nice, yep, vibing. Oh, this one, yes, that's exactly my style. Hit customize and you're off. Now I just need to choose 12 images, 12 from the thousands I took. I think I'm also going to add a filter on these. So they all feel like they're connected. Maybe black and white, that's a bit artsy, isn't it? It'll go perfectly with my apartment decor. When you're done, head to the print button. And in about a week, it'll be ready to use. And again, if you wanna go deeper on calendars, we have a video for that too. A video with Rach, link will be in the description. You know, I'm really loving the black and white on that cover image. I think I'm gonna put it on a mug. My mug on a mug. Again, just jump into templates, choose the print options and scroll across to mugs. I love some of the topographic options. I'll choose this one. Maybe make it a little bigger. If I create another page, this will be the other side of the mug. This is where I can paste that image. This is looking great. What a way to start the day. A positive message on this side and a memory on the other. You know the drill, hit the print button. You know, I might get one of these for mum. And just like that, I now have my images off my phone and surrounding me on a mug, a calendar, and in a photo book. I've even got a video I can share with my friends. My images are out and living their best life, just like me. If you found this video helpful, check out the playlist. There's a bunch in there on every sort of topic. Here's one of my favorites. We're releasing new videos weekly, so like and subscribe to our channel before you head off. See you later.